As promised, we are taking action to save money every time Albertans fill up at the pump. If passed, this bill will pause collection of the full 13 cent tax on gasoline and diesel until June 30th, 2023, regardless of oil prices. From January 1st to June 30th, all Albertans will save 13.6 cents per litre, including GST, every time they fill up. If you drive a pickup truck and fill up once a week, you're estimated to save up to $450 over those six months. That's real relief. We're also making the fuel tax relief program permanent, so Albertans continue to benefit from their owned resource. After June 30th, the fuel tax relief program will provide ongoing tax relief when oil prices are high. If passed, this legislation will also enable us to make changes to the Alberta Personal Income Tax Act to index personal income taxes retroactive to 2022. Many Albertans will owe less tax or receive a higher refund come tax time. They will also benefit from lower tax withholdings on their paychecks next year. The Inflation Relief Statutes Amendment Act will also index the Alberta Child and Family Benefit Program increasing quarterly benefits to low-income Alberta families by 6%. Bill 2 enables our government to deliver six non-taxable monthly payments of $100 to seniors, families for each child under 18, and vulnerable Albertans receiving H, PDD, and income support. We wanted to ensure all low- and middle-income families received this support. Approximately 80% of Alberta families with children will be eligible based on the 180,000 income threshold, which is the same threshold used for childcare subsidies. Finally, we are taking strong action to help people with utility bills. Electricity rates are currently at record highs and are forecast to go even higher in the new year. While many Albertans have protection from high pricing through competitive fixed rate contracts, many do not. Customers on the regulated rate option, or RRO, are uniquely at risk this winter. This bill will put a temporary three-month price ceiling on the RRO for January, February, and March. Electricity costs above the 13.5 cent ceiling will be deferred until and spread over lower price months. Interest-free loans will be offered to RRO electricity providers to facilitate rate stability through the ceiling and deferral. Our government has brought responsible fiscal management uh, to the province over the last three, three and a half years. Uh, the combination of responsible fiscal management, an increase in energy prices, and a focus on investment attraction and economic growth and economic diversification has allowed us, uh, well, has provided a strong balance sheet uh, for the province. And this has allowed us to step in in a meaningful way with these affordability measures, which are, again, are a combination of direct relief as well as uh, taxation relief. Responsible fiscal management will continue to matter in the days and months ahead. But again, uh, as a government, we're privileged uh, to be able to offer this kind of support, which is meaningful and material to Albertans. And again, we can only do this because we've got a growing economy, which has resulted in increased revenues for the province of Alberta. And we've also brought a responsible fiscal management.